Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Leslie. I'm a lymphoma attending at the John Thurr Cancer Center in Hackensack, New Jersey, where I run the indolent lymphoma and CL research programs and also serve as medical co-director of oncology at Mountainside Medical Center. So here at the John Thurr Cancer Center, I focus on all types of lymphoma, Hodgkin, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, and CLL. I'm also involved in the CAR T cell research program. We've been able to be involved in a lot of studies that have led to FDA-approved agents in these groups of B-cell disorders orders over the last year. Um, for example, in follicular lymphoma and marginal lymphoma, there's been at least three new drugs approved for these patients in the past nine months. Um, one of them is Umbralisib, which is a PI3 kinase inhibitor approved for follicular and marginal zone lymphoma. We participated in the study that led to that approval here at JTCC. The other is CAR T-cell therapy in follicular lymphoma, Zuma 5. We enrolled patients on that at John Thurr Cancer Center as well. And the other is Tazimetastat, which is an EZH2 inhibitor um, that's approved now in follicular lymphoma as well. And many combination studies are ongoing that we have opened at the John Thurr Cancer Center. So it's really been rewarding um, to be part of that program and see all these new therapies. CAR T-cell therapy was first approved while I've been at John Thurr Cancer Center, and it's been amazing to see that research translate into a way that not only do we have approval in acute leukemia now, diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, um, mantle cell lymphoma, most recently follicular lymphoma, you know, and we are involved in many of those clinical trials that led to approval. We've got studies ongoing in solid tumors, multiple myeloma was recently approved, marginal zone lymphoma, CLL. Um, so really across the board, we're learning how to retrain an immune system to do its job, which is to recognize and eradicate abnormal cells. And over the past few years to decade, I would say the field has shifted such that we not only are treating cancer based on the organ it came from, but we're treating cancer based on the genetic changes that are making that cell abnormal. And the advances that have happened over the past few years have been more than happened in the past few decades. As we've gone forward through the pandemic and learned a lot about what drives infections, we've also learned a lot about what drives cancer. COVID-19 has been an interesting development in oncology. And I can say at the beginning, no one knew anything. But pretty early in the pandemic, uh, we adjusted with safety protocols and understanding cancer doesn't wait. Um, so patients need to have treatment. Now we've been able to restore our full clinical trial program. Our cellular therapy program was never halted. So we were able to proceed throughout the pandemic. Our research has continued and we've been able to be, you know, in some of these amazing uh, groundbreaking studies that have led to new options for our patients.